All right, hello, and welcome to this um, tour of Babylon today. We're going to be doing a tour of Babylon, a walk around Babylon today on this nice afternoon. To, uh, try to show you, or, well, before we show you the town, of course, and I'll show you the town and how well it's doing, I want to show you some natural areas first. So, we're going to show you this park here. There's a little of river here. And we're coming up on a pitch pine here, right by this lake. Yeah, there's a pitch pine right there. Yeah, right there, there's a pitch pine. And a weeping willow here. So let's continue on. I'm going to cross and I'm going to go by a school. There should be another little area, natural area here. Of course, I'll show you the lake and the town and everything like that. It's a nice day. I should have been in the Pine Barrens today, but I'm just wasn't feeling well. It sucks when you don't feel well. Actually, no, we, we're not there yet. we got to cross another road. Yeah, we got to cross another road. Yeah, some more pitch pines over there. That's the river. There's some more pitch pines over there, so let's check them out. It's a nice little stream over here, we just gotta be careful crossing. This is Park Avenue. Stream, nice stream right here. Ducks in it. Let's wait to see the pitch points. Let's go to see the pitch points. So let's go to the pitch points, check them out, and then we'll check the lake out. Of course, this path will take you to Southern's Ponds, uh, and it will take you to. Uh, Um, if you keep going, it'll take you to Belmont Lake State Park, of course. I wish I could walk that much, but it's late and I don't have the energy. We're supposed to be walking around Babylon. I'm outside of the villages it is, but I just want to see some pitch pines today. So, there's a few right here. I mean, there are pines on the south shore, too. Some big ones over here. Oh, it's good to see some. All right, look at these beautiful pitch pines. All right, let's check out the little stream now. I mean, they got lights in the nice parks here, you know. Just a little bench over here. But, you know, only the best for this uh, South Shore, of course. You know, and they have pines too, I guess, you know. Do too. It's good to see.
see. I had to see a few pitch pines today. Trees aren't budding yet. This will be colorful in a couple of weeks when they start budding. I mean, there were a lot of clouds around earlier and they kind of broke apart. Let's check out the stream. I do apologize if I don't sound well. I don't know. I just don't feel well today. I don't know why. But some days are like that, you know. I just don't have energy. Yeah, it's beautiful here. Look at the stream. Going here. It's beautiful. Look at that. Just look at that water. Let's go over here. This actually there's another pitch pine over here. I'm not feeling well today. I'm just feeling very tired and just a little depressed. That's all. Uh -oh. I don't like getting personal on here at all, so I'm not. I just know I need to be here for a little while, all right? So, I think that's what I'm going to do. There's another pitch pine over there. Let's check it out. i got to see some pitch pines, man. Let's walk around and check them out. Maybe I will go to the Southern's Pond. I don't know how far it is away. Maybe we will walk there. It's kind of a distance, though. Just, I uh, feel like it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how far the lake is. I don't know. I really don't. I, actually, I've never... You know something? The last time I walked here, I don't think I was ever on this path. Oh, he's going to look at the river. Oh, look at this. Get another view of the river. I mean, I like water. We don't have rivers in the middle of the island, you know? Let's just face it. Accept it. The South Shore is a lot nicer place to live. But you have to have money to live here. And I don't. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is just beautiful. Yeah, so we're going for a little hike today. I <laughs> so let's keep walking. We've got another stream over here. I've never been on this path before. It could have been a whole piney power show. Oh. Yeah, look at the water. It's beautiful. moving. Let's go to the lake. So these trees, these are all um, swamp maples and they're all going to be budding. And when they bud, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be very nice. Uh, one thing you don't notice is garbage here. It's taken care of, obviously. It's the South Shore, and there is a cardinal. I do have my other camera with me that I'm going to try to get a picture of it for you. If I can. That is actually cardinals calling. Love that sound. Yeah, this has turned out to be a nature video. Oh, that's okay. That was like completely unexpected, but that's what we're doing. Beautiful. 
cardinals all over the place here. Let's continue on here. I think we should be getting close to the lake, hopefully. I figured, let me walk the lake already. Let's, let's go for a walk today. Another cardinal. Wow, they're all over. Beautiful blue sky now. Look at that. Which way do we go now? Okay, there's a path that goes to the left. We go, do we make a left? This is going to take us back. Here we go with the river again. So, this is a beautiful area of woods, by the way. I, I guess. This is beautiful over here. I don't think this is the path. I think it's the other path. It is beautiful here. It's amazing. Gorgeous. I think we go to the left, so let's do it. I think that's where we go. I see some pitch pines over there too. I'll go to the left. So I think that's southwest. So this is northwest. That that's east. So I think we gotta go this way. I think the lake is coming up. The lake's over there, I see it. I see it. I see an opening in the trees, so we're almost there. It's beautiful here, isn't it? I like nature. That's what I like. I like the outdoors. I'm not into the whole, it's like, what they're trying to do in the middle of the island is they're trying to turn it into an urban wasteland. I'm not into that urban life at all. And you know, if you, the South Shore really is the best mix of everything because you got good transportation on the Babylon Line, you got nice towns, it's safe, and you also have beautiful parks too, you know. In the middle, you know, in the middle of the island, well, yeah, we have the pines, pine lawn, obviously, Edgewood, and it's beautiful there too, but there's no streams, there's no lakes, and there's a lot of garbage dumping. It's more depressing, you know what I'm saying? That's the best way I could put it, I guess. All right, I think we're getting up to the lake now. I had the energy to make it this far, so I guess that's good, right? That's funny how things turn out sometimes, you know? You're taking one video with the intention of just walking around the town and then somehow you wind up here. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> it's, be it's quite beautiful here. Let's see, we're going to go. Gonna check out the lake here. I probably should have taken that other path. It kind of went out of my way, I guess. Oh, I didn't bring anything to drink either, so that's another reason I can't go far. Oh, it's beautiful here. It is beautiful. There's a lake. There's one view of it anyway. Oh, look at that. I see some pitch pines on the other side there. Gorgeous. Yeah, let's continue. Alright, 
So, uh, yeah, there is a red-tailed hawk. There's several of them. There's another one over there. So. Gorgeous day. Incredible day. I'm in the city for a couple of minutes and then I'm going to head back. Somebody just caught a fish. Let's check it out. Let's start walking back. My train comes in like 55 minutes, so I'll we'll start walking back now. Yeah, it was a big rainbow. It was a rainbow trail there. But, uh, I, I put the picture in the video. I don't want to show any people in it, so. But, uh, yeah, it was a rainbow trout. But they had it, they couldn't, the, 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 the trout swallowed the hook. It actually swallowed the hook. So they had to actually just cut it free from the line. Yeah, but the hawks are out. They're probably going to, you know. Fishing is fun, though. I would love to fish. It's a fun thing to do, you know. Good to see people out doing that, enjoying nature, and it's just you know that's what it's all about for me is nature. So let's walk back now. All right. Beautiful, beautiful little spot, place though. I'll tell you. Check it out. We got some horses riding through. some horses here. Check it out. Let them cross. One thing you know about hiking, you always yield to horses. Always. When you see horses coming, you yield. You stop and you let them cross. No matter where you are. Wow, that was nice, huh? Boy, it's turned out to be a little good little, little walk here. That's a good one. Yeah, they're probably going to Belmont, Belmont Lake. This is, this is a you know, and you can, like I said, walk this path up. It'll take you to Belmont Lake. There's a pitch pine actually right over there, a big old one right there, if you can see it. In fact, I'm going to take a picture of it before the sun goes away. So here you go. Here's the pine, and it's a beauty. Look at that. That's a beauty right there. That's a beauty. Take a moment look at it. Beautiful old pitch pine. Alright, let's go. Let's go back. Let's go back. It really is Babylon. And, you know, in, in biblical times, Babylon was known as the place that to be, you know. And that's what's, ha that's what's happened on Long Island. It's Babylon and a lot of the communities in this area are the place to be. And, you know, you can't blame people for wanting to live here. I, you know, I mean... It's just unfortunate that you got to be rich to live here, and you got to be of a certain demographic. You know, we also be able to enjoy these things. You know, and I got here by taking the 315 Patchogue train at Mineola. So I'm glad we have that train. It makes it really easy to get from Mineola over here. And I also have a video of that, too, to show you as well. So, you're getting to see how nice it is here. Of course, it'll be even more colorful when these swamp maples. They're just starting to bud now. They will bud soon, though. Yeah, the cardinals...
These are all wetlands. So, yeah, it'll probably be about 15 minutes. It's not that long of a walk. It's like a mile from where we started, I guess. Which isn't that bad. This is the wider, more main carriage road through here, I guess. I'm keeping my eye out to see if we can see some bald eagles. That would really be nice. <laughs> but, to get to see some red-tailed hawks. I don't know if those were hawks or ospreys. I don't know, they look more like ospreys to me. Somebody was saying there was a hawk, but... Usually the ospreys hang out in the wetlands, usually. So... It's a beautiful, beautiful spot here. There's a pitch pine in there. Now the sun's gone. It finally is behind that cloud. This we had a lot of earlier and then... And while we walk back, I'll tell you the latest in the saga of Hicksville. Um, uh, a lot of corruption going on there in Hicksville. The town of Wasted Bay is actually behind a lot of the... Um, I've heard, I'm hearing from numerous people that Hicksville is indeed being redlined. Um, the people that are in charge of the town of Oyster Bay are all from Mass Pequot on the South Shore, so they're ruining Hicksville for their own gain, just as I thought. It just confirms what I already know, what's going on. And of course, because I speak up about it, I got harassed and intimidated, and uh, I got kicked out of another... Fa well, I left before they kicked me out, but uh, I just got kicked out of another Facebook group, or they were trying to kick me out of last night called, uh, it was about, it's basically a crime, uh, what is the word, it's like a crime watch page or whatever for the Hicksville, Levittown area, except that most of the people over there are from Levittown, and, you know, they got upset when I talked, you know, posted the picture of the book, of the homeless person. I try not to call them bums, all right, but understand why. It's because a lot of them choose to be that way. They refuse the help, and I'm not mad at them. I'm not mad at the homeless. I'm mad at the people that are putting them there. People like Joe, uh, Saladino. Um, we're not here to rant about it. I I'm just telling you about it. That's all. I'm telling you what's going on. So you can understand why I feel the way I do uh, about what's going on there. And who's behind it. And when you speak up against these people, uh, six miles. So I'm guessing that that's six miles from Belmont, probably from Belmont Lake. Um, just watch the horse stuff. It's from the horses. Um, but all the people that are behind the destruction of the middle of the island live on the south shore. They're all doing it for their own gain because what they're doing, you see, is they are... Really it's focusing. They are driving up the real estate prices in certain areas so they can be with their own kind. They make it too expensive for, for people like me or anyone else who's middle class to live there. At the same time, they're getting paid off by slumlords to sell. It's all connected with the real estate. Um, the real estate people are involved in this. Uh, it's all, all connections between real estate, the banks, Wall Street. They are balkanizing the island. So they, they turn Hicksville, they, they, they force people out. What they do in Hicksville is they make it so miserable that people leave. They're fed up with the gangs, the illegals, the homeless. Where they raise the taxes. They leave. And since nobody would buy a home in Hicksville because Hicksville is going downhill, some lords buy them. And then they put turn into illegal apartments and put illegals in there. And so that's what's going on. But when you speak about these things, you're going to get harassed, you're going to get intimidated. These are arrogant people. Um, and so, yeah, that, that upset me a little bit yesterday, you know. 
Now, I am going to Hicksville a lot less. Yeah, I'm going there much, much less than I used to because it's just too depressing. You know, seeing the homeless person in the mall with the shopping cart, no security. Over the weekend, we're playing soccer in the parking garage. You know, it's... It's depressing. I don't need to be around that, you know, especially because I have mental illness. You know, sorry if people don't understand what it's like to have mental illness. You know, but it's not good for me. So, yeah, I've been going to the South Shore more because I, I don't want to be around that stuff. So we're already coming to the end of the path here. But this is paradise down here, you know. If you get to live here, you're very lucky. those pitch points again so I know we're near the we're near the exit and this is where we were this is where when we started so we did a whole loop so we'll walk now toward back toward Babylon all right so we're gonna go under the bridge here and actually see some pitch points again <laughs> Actually, some more over there. I can see them, but there they are. They'll go anywhere. Alright, so we're going to the bridge here. This is the Babylon line, of course, the best line of all. I'll show you the town really briefly. I can't show you everything. I'll try to show it to you. They don't want to let you cross SUVs, so Mercedes, of course, that guy's on the phone, got your stockbrokers here, and I'm going to take a picture of this lake. This is our guy Lake, you know it already. It's a beautiful lake, as you can see here. I remember coming here as a kid. Before Bab back then Babylon was a middle class area. It was still nice, but it was a middle class. You didn't have to be rich to live here. These weeping willow trees are pretty too. Alright, so this is the lake here. You've seen this before. This spot, we're gonna make a left. And we're going to head toward the town. We got the swans and geese here. So I'm flying away. aggressive sometimes, the territorial. So we're going to make our way through the town. To the town now. Right. This will be the town of ba the village of Babylon. Part of this uh, video here. See the village of Babylon, of course, very nice place. Lots of high end cars here, of course, because you have to be rich to live here. You have to be working on the banks, Wall Street, to get in here, otherwise, you're not gonna. I'll go through this lot. Check out the town. And you can see there's very little vacancy. The storefronts kept up. A 
Only the best for the South Shore, of course. Look at that fancy po oh, it's the Post Office Cafe. Right. So everything's kept up very nicely here. No vacancies. But you see all the fancy cars, you know what it means. And of course, the rich people like their golf too. This used to be a diner, it's now some kind of fancy. It says fancy right on the sign there. Look at that. I'm telling you, you got a lot of rich people over here, and it just keeps getting richer. And Babylon now is more rich people in it than Huntington, I think. Huntington used to be where it was at, but not anymore. This is the town hall. And Steve Ballone actually was once the town supervisor of Babylon, so there you go. It's, that's why he only cares about the South Shore. We've got a nice theater here now. So that's where all the investment goes, South Shore. It's where all the investment goes. Middle is just a wasteland. Wow. Interesting elevator there. I don't have time to ride it. Salon Posh. No vacancies. Oh, here's one. Here's one vacancy. Let me make it a left here. This is the heart of Babylon here. Got another trendy place here, it looks like. Got a lot of trendy places here. Here's Suffolk County Transit minibus. Yeah, they got these, still using these minibuses. Oh, it's crowded too. So they surely shouldn't use those minibuses. Simply nails. Could cross the street. Only the best here. You won't see any minorities here. Nope. Minorities aren't allowed to have these things, unfortunately. Not allowed to have nice stores and clean streets. Stuff like that. We're not allowed to have that. Nice uh, pizza place over there. Uh, I'd rather be around this than around Hicksville. Probably any vacancies. We saw that one. It's a fancy place called Monsoon. It used to be a bank. Yeah, these places, they gear to the people coming off the train after a day of working on Wall Street, they come and unwind. More fancy places over there. Everything's kept up. Barbecue place over there. Audi said you got a lot of money here. Every space is occupied. Another place over there. Argyle Tavern. Henry's Market, that looks like upscale. Sport Shack, probably got forced out. But they're gonna put something else there. I see bur building permit. The Sushi Lounge. But these places, they only go to areas where the white finance professionals are. They don't go. It's like that's it. If you're not with that demographic, you're gonna suffer, all right? 
big delicious cafe. This more, look at that, that's fancy over there. Look across here. Yeah. Zoom in a little bit. Brixton. They got even more places here since the last time. Beer garden. Lots of, like I said, this is very rich over here. Very rich. Ice cream fudge place. This is the place to be. I mean, you know, if you're moving to New York and getting started, you know, and you can and you're not disabled, become a finance professional. You'll have a great life. The way you can get to live here, you know. I, it's like I hate encouraging people to join this demographic, but I, you know, I don't wish unhappiness on anyone, you know. Unfortunately, it's the way it is, you know. You know, we can try to beat the corruption. We can try, we can keep talking about it, and I'm going to keep talking about it for sure. But the reality is the investment goes to areas where the white finance professionals live. And if you're not with that group of people, you're going to have problems. It's not fair. It's very unfair. You know. That's the thing. Like I said, I don't want to move again. You know, I I like Mineola. I think, you know, hopefully Mineola can survive. I'm more worried about Hicksville. Hicksville is in worse shape. What time we go. 520. Alright. Still alright. Alright, so, coming up to the end of the downtown area. Fancy jewelry, look at this. Man, I don't feel like I fit in over here anyway. It's very upscale. But, it's like, if you want to be safe, and you want to have no bums, and you want to have life in your town, this is the demographic you have to be with. It wasn't like that when I was growing up, but... What it is, is there's no middle class left, so all you have are the rich and the poor. And so, it's better to be with the rich than the poor, I guess. At least it's happier, you know. More upbeat. Alright, so let's go to the train station now. It's right over there. i to end this video real soon. So, once you get to the station... Yeah, they have a bump problem here. If the good comes the bad. And it's just, it's kind of interesting that this area has this, despite the fact it's thriving and all that stuff. Here's a bus. Wait, you smoke, huh? I have. It's just interesting that you have that here. Because you don't see that in Belmore. It's just because it's a main, like, terminal, I guess. I mean, it's not as bad as Hicksville, as far as the bums go, but they do have some here. Which is kind of surprising. I call them bums. I'm sorry. Wait for a taxi. I want to get ripped off. The station. Look at all the service they get, so look at all the service they get. This station is not see but look. Look what is here, the MTA police. So they're coming here, they are gonna kick out the bombs. They're here, see? The MTA police are here. Kick out the bums. They're here. They're, they're, you don't see them at Hicksville. You never see them at Hicksville. But they're here, right? Hicksville gets gets no attention at all. I mean, they do have some issues here, but I mean, there is there. They do try to stay on top of it. But the station has its issues. Uh, not to mention it needs a renovation. The station looks horrible, which is really surprising. Like I said, this is kind of, the station is kind of surprising. You look at the town and how nice it is, and you come to the station. 
with this escalator, it doesn't look very nice either. It's like totally, you're like, what, what happened? <laughs> you know, I mean. May have this old one here. This is a not service train. There's no passengers on it. It's heading west. It's dead heading out. We have this huge yard yard. There's a train here. I'm thinking this is a 535 train. Let's see if there are any bumps in here. No one yet. Oh, this looks horrible. Look at this. Doesn't smell that bad in here though. It's actually not that bad. It's not that dirty. And it's open. It's this thing. It's open. Hicksville wasn't open. Remember, Hicksville was locked. Because it's Babylon. We can't lock people out here. It's too important to people here. We can't lock them out. Ah. So it looks like we're gonna have this old train today. So there you go, that's going to conclude this video of Babylon, if you watch the whole thing from the, you know, the nature segment and all that stuff, you know, me, me, hi, that unexpected hike that we took, or if you're just watching this by itself, because <laughs> like I said, I'm going to have two different videos here. Yeah, I miss that old, I like the old logo better. Yeah, I don't like the Pac-Man logo. Really need to bring that other logo back, in my opinion. Got this wood here. So yeah, this station isn't very nice, but I think that's going to wrap up this video. I head to Belmore now and, uh, because I go to the place I like to. Eat. I'd rather go to Belmore where I don't have to deal with the, the bums. I mean, saw a few bums, but not like in Hicksville, you know. But they do have some issues here, which is, like I said, kind of a surprise. But anyway, as we get on this M3, I am going to be wrapping up this video. So, I want to thank you for watching. And just, you know, you're going to see more of these kind of videos where I show you different areas on Long Island, different towns, as long as they're safe. I mean, Higgsville, I really want to show you more of the good than the bad, you know. Uh, because the bad is just depressing, and who needs that? So, that's going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you for watching. Take care.